will load those items that you've just scanned into the categories here on the left. We want to select all of those. Over on the right, you see database type, and right above that is select all. There's 18 databases here, and we want to compare each item that we scanned with each one of these databases. This helps us get more to where the cause of uh, the disruption is. And so you click select all, and then just to the left of that is analyze database. Now, as it goes through this, if you look here in the middle, second line, comprehensive file, it's scanning right, or it's analyzing right now the arteries of the head against each one of these databases, and it shows you which database it's uh, analyzing, and it's giving you a count time for the amount of time it takes. It takes approximately 55 seconds for each uh, scanned item to be analyzed to each of the 18 databases. And as soon as it finishes with the first one, it will then automatically go to the next one in the list that's been checked. When that is all completed, you would then go back to your, your uh, comprehensive page and do your frequency optimization, which we will do in just, in just a moment here. So as you can see, we're almost finished with arteries of the head, and now it's gone to chromosome 4 and it will do the same thing with all four items. The other thing that this uh, process does is it generates your reports. Uh, if you do not do this stage, this section, in other words, you did your scan in comprehensive and then you immediately went into frequency optimization, you would not get the detailed reports that the database uh, compiles. So especially on an initial scan, this is really important to do. Um, on secondary you know, scans, you know, a second or third scan of the same, same item, that report's really not going to change, so you could just do the scan and go straight to uh, frequency optimization. But on the first time through, this should be done. And then after four or five scans, um, of, re of repeat scans, frequency optimization, uh, optimization scans, it would be good to do another complete database uh, an analysis and see how much of that has changed. So, <clears throat> as you can see now, all this data that comes up as it goes through this, you don't have to worry about trying to read this. It goes really quite fast. All of that data is being uh, formulated into your reports, that which will be available to you as soon as this is finished. Now, if uh, you were doing a full scan, which would be 30 items, you're looking at approximately 29 minutes to do um, the database analysis on 29 items that were scanned. The scanning itself would have taken approximately 22 minutes and the frequency optimization would take about 12 minutes. So there's a lot of time, but even with um, the amount of time to do a full scan, you can do a, a first time scan including inner voice, vitals, comprehensive with database and frequency optimization in under an hour. And so it's a really great way to get a good uh, overall picture of where the client is and as you can see it's all very organized for you to see what's happening you can see at any point where the process is and so now it's just about to to move into toxicity and then to viruses and then this these four items will be finished now it's finished it's gone back to the top we want to go back so here's how you can see your, your change. And these reports, if we were to click email report right now, all four of these reports would be emailed to the client automatically. All right, so we've done the scan, we've done the optimization, we've done the, the database analysis. The reports are ready. We can go through these uh, with the client or we can go right back to database and click on this very top button on the right, reports. When you click on reports, here's you have three different reports. Let's start with uh, the category. So here's all the allergens uh, that were found in these four items. 
and what they're affecting. It tells you now red, blue, and green again, uh, from the worst to the least. It'll also indicate um, how long that that's been uh, affecting your uh, the, the the items that's been scanned. So your allergens, sensitivities, bacteria, brain and spine. And so all of this information is here and can be printed. The next one, instead of in databases, we have a summary. And it just gives you the numbers. It doesn't give you all the, the uh, detail information except for emotional conflict. Emotional conflict is one, one of the really important uh, areas that you want to pay attention to. Uh, so here there's quite a bit of, of emotional conflict going on here, uh, more so than anything else. And then you have the comprehensive uh, report, and this takes each item that we scan and gives you all of the things that were affecting it, chromosome 4, uh, right ear, and so on. So here's your report. Uh, when you close out of the report, it'll ask you if you want to close all those tabs, and the answer is yes, close all tabs. It takes you back to this page. Now, if you wanted to edit those pages, those reports, you can click on Edit Reports, and then you can go, okay, I want to see the summary. So there's the summary. Or maybe I want to see instead of the summary categories or the comprehensive. And I can, whatever I want to send to the client. So let's say I want to take this. Uh, I only want to go to this section here. I can click uh, Control-C and move it over into file two. And this is what I'm going to send to the client. Maybe I don't want all of this information to go over. So every, whatever I want to go over, I would then just copy and paste over to file two. And then when I've got file two already, I would save that file, open that file, we would name that file, And that's the file that we would then send out to uh, to the client. Uh, and then we can go back, and that gives you an overview of how to do a comprehensive start to finish. Uh, I hope this has been helpful for you. There will be more videos into more detail on each one of those areas. And thank you for watching. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.